as comments as well. Okay. Uh, go ahead and fire away with your questions for Sammy and Jordan. Hey, um, yeah, go ahead. I guess either way you can take is just, I don't know if I, if I say frustration, but just that, you know, the inability, you got it down to seven points, and you just weren't able to finish. Just when you talk about that, the frustration is very worthy. Yeah, I mean, I thought we did a good job of fighting back and getting it close, like you said. Um, but then it's, you know, whether I think we we missed a bit a box out on Asia and she gets a put back. Um, I don't know if we turned it over, or missed a shot, and then they ran it back down, kind of thing. It's just it's when we get in those moments, I think, to really feel it and to really understand that this is, you know, we've got the momentum, it's turning, um, and really capitalizing instead of um you know, letting them sort of, it's little, it's little errors, but we let them back in. I thought it was a lot of, of uh, our own doing at times tonight with turnovers, live ball, unforced, missed shots, missed free throws. We talked a lot about that. You know, we have the opportunities and that's what we want, but yeah, it's frustrating not capitalizing when we keep putting ourselves in these positions to, to, to steal some of these. Jordan, is there some positive you can take a little bit away from this because you have a game on Saturday. So. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It was a lot of positive things that happened in this game. Um, and we just keep building on from that. Um, but like Sammy said, times where, you know, we got to take the momentum. We got to, you know, value the possession. We just got to be more locked in for that. But I feel like, you know, we're making strides in the right direction. Um, and just keep working at it. If we got that same energy, I feel like our energy was there. Um, Sadie's brought a lot of good minutes for us. Um, and that's good for us to see that. Um, but so we we'll just capitalize on, you know, the good things that we did. The first couple of times you played them by the fourth quarter, it wasn't close. It was a game in the fourth quarter. Right? What was working out there, Sam, tonight that maybe had to do those first couple of Oh, I mean, I thought we did, you know, in that stretch when we came back, we were uh, a bit better defensively and then we were running out and getting better looks. Um, we were putting the pressure on them at the rim. You know, they fouled us. We got into the bonus, um, but I thought we just played better basketball, honestly. But it was to what to Jordan's point, I thought our energy, like that's what got us back in. And we had energy. We were working together defensively, getting some stops. I mean, you know, yes, they obviously still ended up scoring. I mean, 79 is probably a low for them. And percentage wise, they didn't shoot a fantastic percentage considering how well they normally shoot. So again, it's rewarding ourselves with, the, with those efforts. We have to then finish plays on the other end. We have to make sure that if we're getting stops, we're scoring. Jordan, um, you guys went on a 19 to two run in the end of the third and into the fourth. I thought Sammy did a really good job yeah. um, kind of spurring that on. Mm -hmm. What have you learned from Sammy playing with her and watching? <laughs> That's a loaded question. I mean, <laughs> she's, man, she's, she's, I look at Sammy like when I need advice, when I, you know, things are getting hectic. I look at Sammy, I look at Izzy and Jewel. So it's just like, those are my three leaders right now. Um, I feel like she's been, been a great leader for this team. Her voice, she knows the game. She's been around the game. Um, and she's a sharp shooter, so you know I respect her. Um, but she brought a, she brought great energy for us. She came in, um, made some hustle plays, and that's the type of things that we need from her. Um, and then of course she knocked down some threes. So, and Sammy, um, talk to me about Alicia Clark and the impact she has for the Aces. I mean, we know what she does obviously here better than a lot of people, but I think they're known for their offense, right? But she is that sort of lockdown defender, her versatility. She can play, you know, one through four, one through five, if you have to kind of thing. So I think she provides that for them. Um, and then obviously you can't leave her open, you know, she's another spacer. Mm -hmm. She's another shooter for them. Um, but she's just a gritty, gritty, tough player, really smart. Um, so yeah, she's, I think really a great addition because she is that sort of defender that maybe they didn't have before. Hard to box out, too, let me tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> and then for either of you, um, Asia Wilson, 15 rebounds, three speeds, three blocks. Like, I know Asia is always known for how good she is offensively, mm -hmm. um, although she won defensive player of the year last year. Uh, she seems like she's even better this year. And just kind of what does she do that makes it so difficult? I mean, she's relentless. You know, she's constantly pursuing whether it's her own, you know, missed shot. She's she's there to, to tip it back, other people's. Um, very physical, runs the floor well. You know, she does all those things. She's an MVP of the league, you know. But yeah, I thought today where she really hurt us, where maybe she traditionally hasn't, was on the second effort stuff. Mm -hmm. I thought that she really punished us there.
Tammy, you mentioned earlier how 79 is probably a little bit low for their offense. Was there anything defensively that you guys felt like you did do well tonight to kind of hold them below where they were going to find themselves? Yeah, I mean, I thought we did, for the most part, our schemes well. And, um, you know, early on, I thought we were limiting them to – you know, one shot um, and we were doing a good job kind of being physical with them without fouling, which is, but, you know, just contesting, they make, they make, uh, you leave them open, they make them. So our, our pickup points are important, making sure that we are contesting everything, getting a hand in their face and just trying to make every shot a hard shot and, and hope that, you know, they miss them. Sometimes that's all you can do, you know? So I thought we just did a, a better job of making sure that we limited how, how open their looks were. about um, just the impact that you've already seen Gabby making just in these few short games and then also how she's been doing um, since starting today for the first time. Yeah, it's been great having Gabby. Um, she's, again, another versatile player. She can run the one for us. She can play, you know, two through four, all of that. She rebounds well. Um, she's just a smart player, you know. She's she's played all over the world at every level, very comfortable, very confident, um, can do a bit of everything. So I think just having another player like that, who is familiar with this team as well, obviously she's here last year, I think really helps. She'll help with our depth. Um, and yeah, it's, I think we're just going to continue to see, um, you know, her get more comfortable and get her, get back into her stride and her rhythm, but so excited to have her back. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Or then uh, you guys had uh, the 19 to 2 line. Just what went right during that start? I thought our energy level was high. I thought we were rebounding the ball well, um, closing out strong, <clears throat> and getting some some playing it with some pace and in transition. Uh, I think you know that's kind of been our bread and butter and some shots fell for us, so it was good to see some rhythm in that moment. When, when you uh, sort of gain momentum like that and like, like you have it, how tough is it to like close the deal and to, and to you know, to close the deal? Um, honestly, I'm just happy to be in that position against the number one team in the league. It's not you know, for us, obviously we're we're learning, but closing the deal against Vegas, if you were to tell me we're in that type of game tonight, um, I wouldn't have imagined that. So I think instead of closing the deal, it's how to continue to play that same way. And maybe that kind of encompasses, you know, how we figure out how to close games um, or possessions or quarters or whatever have you, but just a good position to be in with a very good team at that moment. Uh, going, going right off of that, um, first game against the Aces, I believe you guys missed like 41. You don't believe, you know. Say <laughs> <laughs> so it, yes. 40 plus. Yes. Second game is 30 plus. Yes. Uh, as Percy's talking about, you guys, it's a single digit game right. midway through the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. um, like, how much pride is there and growth that you're seeing from your team from day one? To mm -hmm. A lot of pride and a lot of growth in a lot of areas and obviously from we're different from day one uh we have or not where we want to be but that is what the second half of the season is to continue to grow and prog progress in a lot of ways how um when we're facing the opponents again how we're playing and how we're adjusting to that um throughout the game how we start games um how we how we are in the middle of the games and how we can continue to find ways to finish games um i think that's uh, a, a positive to be, you know, in a situation where you're in a single digit game late in the game with the team who's very talented and primed to win a championship um, for a young team like ours that shows um, that is a lot of pride, you know, that shows a um, just a testament to the work that they're putting in and attentiveness to detail and all the things that matter. We're trying to find some success in this league. Asia Wilson leads all scorers with 23 points, but she has 15 rebounds, three steals, and three block shots. Talk about her impact on the defense. I mean, they're playing a box in one. You know, they're very, you know, she didn't really have to leave the paint in that area. And they're just so smart. You know, her, you know, her her impact is strong on both ends of the floor, but they 
they, they play with their minds. And if, you know, not having to chase people around, but just be solid and just be a, a anchor in the paint and do all those things physically, tremendous. I mean, to me, it, it didn't even, I look at the box score, I'm like, is she playing hard? She's playing hard. And it's like, could get this in her sleep, you know what I mean? But I just think that she's um, in an amazing rhythm and she she's so competitive. Um, no matter what the matchup is and um, she plays hard she finds ways to to score and be so impactful on the defensive end as well and then uh, talk about the impact Alicia Clark has had on her team I think um, she's brought uh, toughness defensively um, you know Vegas can outscore you but you know AC has obviously honed her defensive skills and is you know, defense is important to her. Um, obviously, her ability to knock down shots um, is huge, but their small ball lineup doesn't seem so small because she's able to guard multiple positions. But uh, she's brought toughness, another level. They're already a tough team, but another, another level of toughness, a consistent um, three-point shooter, all the things that we've seen AC grow into in this league. What, what did Gabby Williams do for you today? Yeah, I mean, her defensive effort, her defensive energy, her ability to um, have a, another initiator on the floor, uh, her athleticism, um, ability to guard multiple positions just gives us another elite athlete on the floor and uh, uh, comfort, in my opinion. She knows our system, um, does what we want, plays at a high level and very hard. Um, energy level is always high, so uh, especially for our group, uh, she's special to have on, on the floor with us. Talked about the players attention to detail and then getting rewarded not by the win, but as a coach, given that, how comforting is it that you see the players kind of begin to understand the execute that you're trying to have them? Uh, in yeah, and honestly, we still have a ways to go. <laughs> yeah, but not even that, even in the midst of you know executing, it's like. You know, we're and after a timeout, I look up and all of a sudden Vegas has the ball again. It's like in crucial possessions, how are we executing? No matter what we've done in, you know, prior to, you know, in the first, second quarter, in these moments, now our next level is to continue to listen, execute, um, and get over this hump of um, the turnovers or the lack of defensive um, execution. So we, we still have a ways to go, but I'm proud of our effort for sure, especially our defensive effort tonight. 79 points for Vegas is um, pretty darn good. Yeah, and I think you're referencing the timeout and then the near turnover. That was a turnover. She missed the shot. Yeah. Yeah. So... How do you show the play over and over? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we have to. That's how we get better. We have to watch it. We have to rep it. We have to actually talk through it and get some understanding as to, you know, how we can be better in those moments. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I tried to keep keep it fun for her. Just kept saying, "Have fun," you know. The the they were trapping her she hadn't even hit a shot yet they were boxing one and she hadn't, hit, ever, hadn't even hit a shot yet that's respect you know and to to just own that and um you can't not have fun I know you're trying to you know play at a high level against a really good team but you know you can't let the joy go out the window so that was just my message and try to get her to smile a little bit loosen up a little bit and as much as possible but it's tough in those moments she's had you know multiple times this year where that has happened it's about just you know sometimes just find your teammates like some find some some uh be a playmaker in some ways and to help your momentum uh shift a little bit as it relates to your shots and your rhythm Uh, thoughts on eight of 18 from the oh my gosh that's another thing how could I forget that we've struggled mightily from the free throw line this year even on the road uh, we we're getting there that's one thing you know we talk about growth um we hadn't been a team that got to the free throw line a ton like we you know historically and um to get there now is does us no good if we can't make those shots so we're leaving points on the board uh by not being focus and sharp and just knocking down shots, but it's been addressed in PD work and practice work, but it will continue to be addressed. We'll continue to rep it, work on it, and hopefully we get better.
Mercedes Russell hasn't been playing a lot lately, but mm -hmm. she got some good minutes and, and produced for you. Yeah. What did you think of her game? That she was a lot better. Her activity level is number one. That's her number one role right now is to be super active. Um, and I thought that her defense was sharp. I thought offensively she was aggressive. Um, the post-up that she got, she she didn't shy away from contact or finishing. Um, and that's what we want to see consistently in the second half of this season. Just how difficult is it to like, yeah, get that chemistry when there's so many players coming in and out, like, you know, Gabby now, and then we have to go, Fish is, you know, you know, how it is now, but it just feels like you, like, there's new players kind of like finding their time up there. Who else is new now? Just as far as like rookies? Yeah, yeah I think, you know, that's just, probably going to be the rest of the year just finding you know some you know you think about matchups that's one who's on the floor but also um, consistency in play production that's going to be um, a big uh, indicator of rotations or who's on the floor um, obviously Jado is going to be in the mix because it's important for her development but I, looking at the floor as well we got to think about um you know, how we want to play matchups, how we match up with other teams, um, and, and then offensively, what's our best assets um, together on the floor. So lots of thought processes to go with it, but honestly, it's not going to be a set rotation again. I think just continue to find production everywhere. Just going off of that, uh, with the record being what it is, how critical is it to evaluate yeah. all of these players 1 through 12? Yeah. Very, you know, it's uh, we're laying, you know, foundational pieces for now and future and seeing who can buy in, who can play with each other, who can understand our system and, and complement players that complement each other. So it is, it's um, twofold. Yeah, we want to keep getting better every single day and every single game, but also um, we're, we're looking for um teams, players that fit each other to continue to build to championship level, level quality, caliber, championship level, caliber players, team. What a word, salad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. No uh, problem.